The lentiform nucleus is part of the striatum. This is subcortical gray matter, which means that we have to dig deep into the brain. Brace yourself and let's go! The lentiform nucleus consists of the putamen in gold and the globus pallidus in pink. The caudate nucleus arches over the lentiform nucleus and there is always white matter in between except ventrally and rostrally where the gray matter of the lentiform nucleus and the head of the caudate are continuous. Let's first remove the caudate. Now you can see very clearly that the lentiform nucleus has a cone shape with the base facing outward and the apex pointing inward. After removal of the putamen, only globus pallidus is left. Now you can see very clearly that the entire lentiform nucleus is completely embedded in white matter. Between caudate, lentiform nucleus and thalamus lies the internal capsule. Laterally, the lentiform nucleus is covered by the external capsule. Then there is a thin sliver of grey matter, the claustrum, which is separated from the insula by white matter called the extreme capsula. Finally, there are two additional white matter compartments. The first is the retrolenticular white matter or optic radiation. The second is the acoustic radiation, but that fiber compartment runs sublenticular, below the level of this MRI. We turn now to a mid sagittal MRI plane and then move sidewards. Now we will go back slowly from lateral to medial and make a few stops in the process. The lentiform nucleus is being surrounded by internal capsule fibers that form a wedge between the lentiform nucleus caudate nucleus and the thalamus. Downstream, the internal capsule fibers enter the cerebral peduncle and the majority of the fibers end in the pulp. Here is a frontal section of the lentiform nucleus of real human material. Note that in the embryonic brain, the caudate nucleus and the lentiform nucleus are one big cell mass which is split in two by internal capsule fibers growing from the cortex down into the brainstem.